Good morning, Madison. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I matter. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future, and I will work hard and try my best every day to reach these goals and dreams. Happy Tuesday, Madison students. It is May 12th, and I have to tell you, I'm super excited. And the reason I'm super excited today is because today is the day I get to start announcing summer birthdays. So if you have a summer birthday, I'm going to start today and you'll get announced before the end of the year. So let's start with our birthdays. First of all, we have no birthdays today on May 12th, um, but we do not have any birthdays in June on the 12th. Let me check July. Nope. Here we go. August 12th, happy birthday to Kezia Anderson. Kezia, we hope in August on the 12th, you have a great birthday. So again, I'll keep announcing those throughout um, till the rest of the year. So if you have a summer birthday, don't worry. I also have a couple of You Matter slips this morning. The first one is for Brecken Earl. Brecken, I am so excited to see you active in our classroom. You made our class meeting on Friday so much fun. Thanks for working hard and being your fun, silly self. I miss seeing you in class, but I'm happy I get to see you on the video chat. From Miss Corelli. Miss Corelli actually has a second You Matter slip as well this morning. You Matter Ruby Spath. I love that you bring your creativity and love of learning to class every single day, even in our class, Google Classroom. Virtual learning can be tough, but you make the best of the situation. You give me feedback that helps me improve virtual learning for everybody in 5G. I love how thoughtful you are. So great job, Brecken and Ruby. Super proud of the work that you're doing. Continue to keep rocking digital learning. Wait, I hear a noise. Oh, I have a visitor this morning. Last week, I think it was last week, somebody said, can we see Mr. Opali? <laughs> he normally works downstairs in the basement for his um, job right now, but guess what? There he is. He's doing a little reading this morning. So there is Mr. Opali. Mr. Opali works at a university called Lakeland University, and he helps students as well. So he has been busy helping his students register for classes and get set. But I'm so glad Mr. Opali could make a little appearance in our video this morning. I also have some questions that were submitted this morning to me. Um, the first one is from Anastasia. Anastasia wants to know, how far do you ride your bike? Depends on where I'm going, Anastasia. Sometimes we ride the Mariner's Trail. Sometimes we're riding to the store. Sometimes we're riding to see friends. So it kind of depends where we're going. Natalie Potter says, do you like being quarantined? Hmm, that's an interesting question, Natalie. There definitely are some days that I don't mind it, that I am happy to be home, getting things done around the house, doing some cooking, doing some reading, um, hanging out here. But then there are some days that I definitely miss going out and doing things like when the Brewers are supposed to be playing and we're hoping to get to those games. So um, I would say some of both. I think we're trying to make the best of the situation by doing some fun things at our house, like playing games and making each day um, something new. So we're doing the best we can. Lydia wants to know, if you had to dye your hair any color, what color would you dye it? That's an interesting question, Lydia. Right now, I probably would try to get rid of my gray hair that I'm getting and just dye it brown. But if it was like I could do anything and it didn't matter, maybe I would have purple hair. Maybe that would look the best on me. What do you think? Uh, Dylan C. wanted to just say hi. Hi, Dylan. We are happy that you're checking in. We miss you. Taya wants to know, where's your favorite beach? It's a great question, Taya. When I grew up, I grew up not too far from the beach in Sturgeon Bay. Um, so in the summertime, I would ride my bike there a lot. So probably um, a beach up in Sturgeon Bay would be my favorite beach. If not, and I had to pick one close by, I would say probably Neshota Beach and uh, Two Rivers. If you've been there, it's really nice um, and it's a lot of fun. Great question. 
Sean Bobby Jr. wants to know, what do you like to do in the winter? That's an interesting question, Sean. I would say in the winter, I'm not really an outdoor sports winter kind of person. So I don't really like skiing or any of those kind of outdoor sports. But in the winter, my niece and nephew play basketball. That's a winter sport. So I like to go watch them play basketball. And Rihanna Jansen wants to know, will we still get our yearbooks? Rihanna, that is a great, great question. And I'm glad I've been waiting for somebody to answer, ask me that question. Because Miss Balzan in the office and I have been working on that. As you know, lots of businesses are shut down or don't have all the people reporting. So the yearbook is uh, still in process. We have not gotten it yet, but they assure us we will get it. So Miss Balzan and I are working on a date that we will get those at school. And then we can figure out how we're going to get them to you. So you will be getting your yearbooks. I just don't know when yet, but I'll keep you updated on that. I think that's it for my questions today. I hope that you have a great day day Madison remember tomorrow is our wacky Wednesday which is reading day it means take a picture of yourself with your favorite book take a picture of yourself in your favorite reading spot or take a picture of yourself dressed as your favorite reading character I've already gotten a few pictures and I love them so keep them coming have a great day Madison work hard and be kind help your family around the house remember to be respectful responsible and safe have a great day